Hello, my name's Frank. Welcome to Learning and Technologies, Quick Tips for Teams. When we're stuck inside, it's nice to know what's happening outside. So in this video, I'll show you how we can quickly add a little weather widget into our Microsoft Team channel. Here I am in my team and I've got a channel here called Weather Conditions. And what I want to do is I want to put the weather conditions in here and I want to be able to keep them up to date. So what I can do is if I go into the ellipse here, I can add in the application for weather. Now in this case, if I go into weather, you'll notice that I can open it or I can add it if I haven't yet added it to the uh, channel. So I'll go in and say open and it's going to ask me for a location. So I'm going to do Tofino, BC, which is near the West Coast Trail. And you'll see how it now gives me the weather conditions. I can copy that and I can just paste that into a new conversation. So you just paste that in, you get your weather conditions. But because I've installed the weather app, let's say a little while later, I want to put in the conditions for, let's say, Victoria, BC. So I can put in a new conversation and I can use the at weather. And when I do at weather and click on get the latest conditions, I can then search for a location. So I'll say Victoria, BC. So it'll find Victoria, BC. And then I can go in and add in the weather conditions for Victoria, BC. Say we're departing from Victoria. If I'm, say, currently, currently I'm in Calgary. So if I want to do another new conversation, just to show you again, I can do at weather, spell it correctly. And again, I can go into the weather conditions and I can search for any location that I might have. So I'll do where I am right now, Calgary, Alberta and we can go in there and get the weather conditions for Calgary. Now you will notice a couple of things. Right now it's all in Fahrenheit, that's sort of the default there. If I go more details it will bring up the forecast web page and that brings me out to a web page where I could then go in if I really wanted to and I can go Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. So you can see I'm currently sitting at zero. But it is a handy way to go in and quip, quickly search and put weather into a channel in Microsoft Teams. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe for more tips and longer videos, and share with any colleagues that might benefit from this information. Thank you for watching. Here's some other videos you can check out on my channel.